now the objective is to do the is to uh, put a new processor in. And I know you guys have actually been asking me to do a video on how to do this, so let's uh so I'll do one. There are some screws down here. You have to loosen. So loosen those. There's one on either side. There's one over here too. And then you sort of lift it up. It lifts up like a lot of Dell stuff does. It's like a shroud. You have to get this up somehow. There we go. Unfor it's supposed to pop out like that. Unfortunately, the heatsink became glued to the processor, which happens all too often with things like this. So I just basically just pulled it right out of the socket. Hope the pins are okay. Yeah, don't do that if you do it. That was because it was kind of hard to get it off. So yeah, it's supposed to pull off the processor, but it was a little harder than usual because it was like this thing is cemented to the heat sink. That's ridiculous. At least I can. Come on, baby. I'm not gonna get it up. I need two hands for this. All right, what's supposed to happen there is the heat sink is supposed to just come off and not pull the processor with it. So let's pretend like uh, the heatsink just came off and the processor sitting in its socket. So that's really all you have to do. You have to just undo those two screws, take the heatsink off, and you have the processor socket down there. Then you just take the process, then you just unlock the socket like this. And you take the processor right out. Put it somewhere where it won't get damaged, like on this box for example. Put the other, take the other processor the replacement one, which uh, in the Dell C521, I should mention this is a uh, this is a socket AM2, so you can only use socket AM2 CPUs in this particular uh, socket. So if you're going to buy one, remember that, and make sure it's a 90 at least make sure it's a 65 or 95 watt CPU. The I don't think uh, the it's equipped to handle 125 watt simply because of the power supply in the machine. So you take your replacement um, CPU and you just lay it in the socket like you're supposed to. Lock the socket. There you go, your processor's changed. Now you just have to put uh, the thermal grease on it. Now you just have to put your thermal grease on it and put the heat sink back on after you've cleaned both the surface of the processor and the heat sink with uh, some sort of cleaner. I, I use uh, Fantastic. You can use Fantastic or Windex. Uh, I personally recommend Fantastic because uh, Fantastic is ammonia based therefore it's a lot tougher on grease than anything else I've used and that's exactly what you're cleaning off most of the time is grease. So, <clears throat> um, without further ado, let's do this thing. Alright, now what you need is a syringe or a little tube of thermal grease. I've peeled the label off of this one so I can see how much I have left. And this is uh, Arctic Silver 5 is what I use for um, CPU, is what I use for thermal compound just because it's cheap and it generally doesn't dry out very fast. Uh, so that's what we're going to put on top of the CPU. I'm just going to put a little, I'm going to put a dot right in the center and have the heat sink spread it out. That's usually what I do for processors that don't run particularly hot. If the processor does run very hot, I would suggest spreading it over the entire CPU surface in a nice, even, somewhat thin coating. But for this one, uh, it's not going to get hot enough to where I have to do that, so it's not going to be too much of a problem. So, let's do this. Alright, the processor has a nice blob of heat sink compound on it. I said focus. Thank you. So, now it is our job to put this back on. And the screws are spring loaded so they don't come out. Should have mentioned that earlier. But, put this back in by. Uh, see how this bracket here has sort of hinges on either side? You fit the. Uh, you fit that into the hinges. Like that. 
they're they're almost more small, more like supports than they are hinges. You fit that back in on both sides properly. If it'll let me do it properly. There we go. Then you just push it down on the processor and move it around a little bit just to spread the grease out. Now all you have to do is uh, screw the spring loaded screws back in. It's uh, it's this this heat sink process is a lot easier than uh, a lot of other heat sinks I've worked with. It's not that bad at all. Just two screws open, change processor, done. There we go. So I had to move that one over a little bit, as you saw. Get that nice and tight, but not too tight. And there we are processor has been changed. There you have it. Done.